All right, so, so it'll be a little longer, but she's gonna be okay, right? I'm sorry, Mr. Balsam. We did everything we could, but we were too late. Too, too late? What the hell does that mean? I'm waiting, Jack. Is what Shane Marasco said true? Did you set a trap for him? Did you? Yes, I did it, all right? Okay, it's just you and me now. I want you to tell me the whole story. Everything you did to put Gigi Marasco in the hospital. I'm sorry, her brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. But, but, but you're talking about her like she's sick. I, I, she doesn't even look. The fact that her heart is beating is only a reflex right now. There's nothing there. No, no, no. Okay, no, that's crazy. I've been watching her. I've been holding her hand, okay? I would know if there was I'm any... I'm sorry, Mr. Balsam. Carbon monoxide is a very lethal substance. In this instance, brain function was severely... No! Hey, you're wrong! I want another doctor! Wait a second, what is going on Well, here? this guy's full of it! Okay, he's trying to tell me that Gigi's brain dead. But it's not true. I know it's not. You know, baby, it's okay. You know, when you're scared, uh, you don't always hear stuff right, okay? And the doctor probably didn't say what you thought the, the doctor, doctor would say. The doctor told me that Gigi breathes too much carbon monoxide and that she's brain dead. No, it can't be. No, it's not true. You're gonna fix it, aren't you? I'm sorry. We've done all we can. Oh, is that the only thing you know how to say? You know, they said the same thing to Bo and Nora about Matthew. But then they did this, this special test, right? That checks to see if there's brain function. Because when they did that to my friend, it said that there was, that there was hope. Okay, so why don't you people do your damn jobs? When that geek dropped the weight on my foot, I wasn't just gonna sit there and take it. I mean, someone had to teach a kid a lesson. Yeah, let's get to that lesson part. Me and my friend, we, we went on my face and pretended to be some girl that was in the Marasco. Comic Girl 15. Where'd that come from? Well, Shane used to write these dopey comics. So we figured it was our way in. And it worked. Well, we thought it did. I mean, he acted like he was into her. So we had her invite him to this party. Where was that? At this empty house. And when we got there, we were gonna put him in the basement and leave him there overnight. We weren't gonna do anything to him. Just leave him. But he didn't show up, right? Gigi did. Well, we didn't know it was her. I thought it was we. I, I thought it was Shane. I mean, she has the short hair, and she was wearing his raincoat, so you really couldn't tell it was her. All right, all right. So, you thought Gigi was Shane, you locked him up, and you took off. What then? We locked the door to the basement room on our way out, and that's it. End of story. No, no. The end of story is that Gigi ended up in the hospital. How did she do that? I don't know. You don't know? It was dark. Maybe she tripped and fell or something. But that wasn't supposed to happen. No one was supposed to get hurt. Well, someone did get hurt, didn't they, Jack? Very badly. Do you understand that? Hey! hey What's you going on that? here, Todd? Nothing. <clears throat> do you recall when Jack told us that he didn't do anything wrong? Turns out that's not entirely that's accurate. Stopped. Hey, shut up! Everything Shane Marasco said was true. Jack put Gigi in the hospital. So you know about this brain test? I think you're talking about the cerebral perfusion test. Yeah, yeah, that's it. You need to do that now, for Gigi. We did, Mr. Balsam. Showed no activity. Oh, my God. I'm afraid there's no doubt. You need to understand, she's got no spontaneous respirations, no brain function. I'm very sorry. <sighs> you said this was going to stay between you and me. Jack, we're not going to keep this from Taya. She's family. Plus, you're going to need a lawyer if you want to stay out of prison. Prison? Yeah, that's right, Jack. Prison. And you don't want me to tell you what it's like to be in prison as a child. You don't want to think about it. So John just got called to the hospital, man. He's going to be all over this. What do you want to do? First, you don't say a word. Not a word of this to anyone. We don't even know how serious it is. She could have just broken her leg. That's a good point. We should find out what Gigi's condition is. All right, we'll get on it. Find out. You need to discuss options, Mr. Balsam. Your girlfriend's condition is not going to... She's not my girlfriend! She is my wife! Almost wife. And she still will be, do you hear me? Rex. Just, hey, Rex, just get out! Okay, everybody, just get out!
I hate this as much as you do. But the doctor is telling you like it is. And if there was anything that they could have done... I said done. get out of here, okay? Now, both of you. Okay. All right. I'll be right outside. Roxy, it's Taya Delgado. Um, listen, I am very sorry to intrude, but um, I was concerned about you ever since I saw you race out of the courthouse. Um, how, how is Gigi doing? Bad. That's how. She's doing bad. And Marisco. Uh... Well, the doctor seems to think he knows what's going on inside your head, but he doesn't. I know you. You know, it's like all those early morning shifts at the Buenos Dias. Forget it, it's like, it's like trying to push an 18-wheeler up Lantano Mountain. Nobody's getting you up, huh? But guess what? Uh, you don't have to work tonight. Okay, all you have to do is marry me. You remember? Now, you said that I could make an honest woman out of you. You promised. But look, um, it's getting late, and you need to open your eyes, because if it's too late, we'll have to get married later, and I just can't wait, okay? I've been waiting for this my whole life. So I need you to wake up, okay? Please, baby. Just open your eyes, please. I'm so sorry, Roxy. Um, are you sure that there's there's no hope? Uh, listen, um, Taya, I gotta go. I can't talk anymore. Thanks for your concern. You you didn't mean that like literally, did you? I mean, she's gonna be okay, right? I know it has been a hell of a night, and you are really wiped out. So, you know, if we can't get married tonight, that's okay. We can, we can wait. You know, you're gonna have to get Shane in that suit again. But that's okay. He'll, he'll do anything for you. He gets crazy about you. I was just like his old man. You know, when I first knew him, um, it was back in Michigan, a uh, baseball game. We're down by one run, and the coach tells me to stay on first and hold up there. So what do I do? I steal second. So stupid. But I made it, right? And everybody was yelling and cheering. It was really cool. And I hear this one woman screaming her head off from the crowd. And I look up to see who it was. And it was you. Just sitting there smiling. It was then that I realized why I made such a stupid play. It was to see you smile. And fall in love with you. And leaving you was the stupidest thing I have ever done. I promise you, I'm never gonna leave you again. Okay? But you have to promise that you're not gonna leave me either. Promise me that you won't leave me. I won't let you. Look, I know you don't wanna wake up. Okay, but you have to. For me. For Shane. Mama, we need you. I know you can do it. Rex, you don't get it. It's no use. She doesn't even hear you. This has to stop. No, wait. You will leave him alone. He's my son, and I will take care of him. I need him, Rex. 
Roscoe, I'm not going anywhere without you. Vex. Look, look, she is just a little tired. Now, she said that she wouldn't leave me, and Gigi keeps her promises. Okay, honey. But not this time. No, she's gonna be fine. I'm gonna get through to her. She's gonna wake up. It's gonna be fine. Honey, she's not gonna wake up. You gotta let her go! Shut up, shut up! Don't say that! Don't ever say that, okay? Sorry, Jack. Um, Gigi's not gonna be all right. Why? Why? What happened? Um, in the basement, you locked her in. Do you remember seeing a generator? I don't know. I don't even know what they look like. Well, this one was leaking carbon monoxide. Oh, my God. Gigi is, um, she's not expected to recover. No, no, this is crazy. I didn't touch any generator. I didn't even know it was there. It can't be my fault. If it's not my fault, how could, I couldn't go to prison, right? Okay, listen, Jack, why don't you go down the hall, get a... No, I'm not going anywhere. If you're gonna say something bad, I wanna hear it. Yeah, let's let him stay. Well, neither of you is gonna like what I have to say. We're... Might as well just give it to us straight. We need to know what we're up against. If Gigi Morasco dies, Jack could be charged with kidnapping, unlawful imprisonment, or both. Is that the worst? No. If they decide to play hardball, Jack could be charged as an adult for murder, felony murder. Do you think you're helping me? You're not a doctor. You don't know what's going on. I do. Now, I know Gigi, okay? So why don't you just get the hell out of here? You can't bring her back. No matter how much you love her or how much we love her, you can't bring her back. 